guys welcome back to my channel and today I am coming at you with a Target haul unfortunately my dog is snoring in the background as usual so please ignore that um, it is summer here in Hawaii and so I placed an online order I actually just wanted sandals um, I needed a new pair of like flip-flop sandals that look a little bit nicer than my Nike ones that I just wear around when I'm like walking the dogs and stuff and I wasn't really finding what I wanted at like Ross and stuff like that so I just went on Target and of course it amounted into way more so let's jump in so I will show you the sandals oh I've got a hair I've got a hair in my lipstick and it's annoying um give this video a thumbs up if you know what that's like I'm just kidding uh anyways so I'll show you the sandals first these are the ones I settled on I love them because they have a bit of cushion to them I tend to have a really high arch and so I feel like I need cushion in my shoes um we should all try to protect our arch we don't want to become flat-footed if we can avoid that but um I feel like I have to have some cushion I can't just have flat hard shoes because of that arch because then I don't get the support and it actually causes me like a lot of pain in my feet. So I went with these because they had the padding. I also loved the brown leather and I loved the white crochet um, straps for the flip flops. I just felt like they looked a bit more dressy than just normal looking flip flops. You know what I mean? Like the rubber ones that everyone kind of buys at like longs and Rite Aid. Um, I just felt that like these looked a bit more like posh. So. I thought they were cute and they'd be cute with like some shorts and a t-shirt or even jeans and a t-shirt if I could ever wear jeans in the summer. Um, sticking with like wearable items, I also got some summer pajamas. So the first thing I got is a set that's so freaking adorable. I want to put it on right now. It's just this pink twist knot shirt and it comes with these little shorts. How cute are these? They are gray with like little flowers and the little ruffles at the um, hem is so adorable. So oh, let's just see if I can, can you guys see that? <laughs> so that is the first set of pajamas. The second set is this My Little Pony pajama set. I saw this and I was like, I feel like I have to get this just because I grew up in the 90s and we should all be wearing My Little Pony pajamas just as like a, this was my childhood. So it just comes with some plain little, these are like tealish green and they're just plain little shorts. And then this is the top, which looks like this. And I love that it has kind of like more of like the sports wear, like football jersey type striping on the shoulders. And it's a bit like wider. So it's really comfortable to sleep in and just lounge around in. Then, of course, because, you know, you can't have a beauty channel and not hit up the beauty section of Target, um, I got way more makeup items than I actually need. But I will say, announcement alert, I am going to be focusing on doing more, like, affordable makeup tutorials and stuff like that along in that area, but I want it to be more, almost lost everything but I want it to be more affordable. Uh, I feel like YouTube has almost become, I, I hate saying this in a haul, um, too like consumption based, like over consumption in the sense that everything is so expensive. If you watch some of these makeup tutorials, they're like, take the Giorgio Armani foundation and mix it with the Dior foundation. And it's like, that's literally like $200 worth of foundation right there. Um, so I feel like because of that, there are people being left behind and the whole point of YouTube is inclusion and community. And you can't really have that when you're spending, like when you're doing a makeup tutorial that most people would use that, that amount of money to like pay their rent and buy food all in one month. And yet you're like recommending it for makeup. And I know that sounds like I'm hating on people that do that, but I'm not because I do like watching them. I just think that it's become, they get sent those products for free. And so I think they forget how expensive they are when you combine everything. I think it's okay to have like one expensive item, but after a while it's like, okay, that's like $700 worth of makeup in one makeup tutorial. So I actually watched a tutorial the other day and after adding it up, it was like $1,500, um, which to me is just not okay. So 
I hit up the Target section of makeup online, of course, because, you know, who shops in real life anymore? Uh, and I got the Pacifica Natural Minerals All Light Multi Mineral BB Cream, 100% vegan and cruelty free fair skin tint with floral stem cells. So the reason I got this is I'm, it's hot and humid where I live and I don't wanna wear like a ton of crap on my face. And I love BB creams, especially in the summer. Oh, this has a little tab on it. I don't know if I can get it off. I don't think it smells like anything. But I got this because I wanna be able to have something that I can throw on in the morning and just go. This does not have um, SPF in it. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you add your SPF. In fact, I put this on Instagram the other day. The SPF in your makeup is never enough. So make sure you're adding SPF before doing your makeup. Um, this is it's shade matching, so I'll be interested to see how that works because most like shade matching products that I've used haven't matched me. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that works, but I am excited to try that. I also got the Maybelline the 24 karat nudes or 24k nudes um, you guys know if you watch my channel at all last year or the year before I was obsessed with Maybelline the nudes palette I used it every single day I did like five or six tutorials using it I just loved it and when I saw this one I was like ooh this is pretty you've got gold and purples and taupes so I was like you know what we have to have this we can't leave it behind so I got that as well as the Maybelline The City Mini Palette um, with Shayla, or maybe it's the shade is Shayla. Basically, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six shade palette, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. You can create multiple looks with this. I love that it's got the mattes and I, I'm really feeling purple right now. Everything I'm buying has purple in it, but this also has purples and golds, and I cannot wait to get this open and play with this. Then I felt like I had to get this mascara just because it looked super awesome. It is the, who's this by? L'Oreal Voluminous Fiber, uh, Voluminous Superstar Fiber, sorry. And basically it's a mascara with two ends which I'm like, I love when that happens. Um, and it says black primer, extreme volume is the first one. And the second one is fiber mascara, 20 times fibers, um, extreme length. I love a mascara that will give you volume and length. So many of them only give you one. You're either going to get volume or you're going to get length. And I've really been wanting to try the By Terry mascara because it has that wand that twists down. So you get like length and then you twist it down and you get volume but I think it's like $50 for a mascara or something. So that's why I went with this one because it's giving you both. You don't twist the wand, you just flip it over and use the other side, but I don't need to twist the wand. I'm happy with flipping it over if I can get away with paying like what, $6 instead of whatever the By Terry one was. So I'm super excited to give this a go. And then I got a whole bunch of lip products. So. I'll save this one for last because I think it's the most interesting. The first one I have is the L'Oreal Color Rich Shine in 920 Lacquered Strawberry. This is what it looks like. And I was like, it's such a pretty pink and I'm really feeling pinks this summer for some reason. I normally don't. Um, I normally feel like pinks are a bit too like old lady looking on me but I'm actually really liking this and I love this packaging from L'Oreal. I love the clear and like the brick feeling. It's just, I'm, I'm loving this packaging. The other two items I have here are from Burt's Bees. The first one is a lip shimmer and this is in caramel. Um, it's kind of like brown looking, but you're supposed to like apply it. You can use it like this or you can apply it over something that you already have. And it creates just a tiny bit of shimmer where Oh crap, so when you twist it up, you can't twist it back down. That's a horrible idea. I don't like that plan. Um, sorry. Anyways, uh, so I got this, but I also saw that their lipsticks were looking amazing. The packaging, I love this kind of honeycomb look on here. And this lipstick, what shade is this? This is the Burt's Bees 513 Dosed Rose and this is what it looks like it is such like a pinky nudie shade which is right up my alley anything nudie is what i want um so do send nudes not 
not those kinds, but you know what I mean. Um, and then finally, the thing I'm most excited to try out of everything in this haul is something I have never seen before, and that is the Revlon Color Charge Lip Powder. There are five different lip shades in here. And I'm just completely fascinated by this. I've seen lip powders before, but I've never seen where you get like a palette of lip powders. And I've never actually messed with lip powders that much because um, I felt like they were like cakey. I'm so excited to play with this. This is in the set 102 Peach Pucker. And the reason I got this is because it has more like summery tones to it. The other one was quite dark and like fall looking. Um, and this one, which is interesting, has like a gold and then like a pinky, silvery, and then um, a pink, a darker pink, and more of like a red color. So I can't wait to bust this open and play with this because I think this looks a uh, freaking amazing. So that is everything from my online Target haul. Um, I will put links for all of this down below. I will also put pictures over on my blog if you're interested in that. Um, mostly pictures just kind of give you like a bit more up close look of everything uh, just because we're so far away. Um, and yeah, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to leave me a comment telling me what item you would be most interested in trying and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!